White Sox in the midst of a five-game winning streak turning to Mark Burley on Sunday against Josh Beckett. White Sox looking for their first three-game sweep at Fenway in 19 years. Time of the second inning, two on for Chicago and nobody out. Alexi Ramirez with the single to right field. Carlos Quinton comes around to score. It was 1-0 in favor of the visitors. Bottom three, two on and two out for Big Poppy. David Ortiz with the double to right center. It scores Darnell McDonald. And right behind him, Jed Lowry, who beats the throw sliding in. It was 2-1 Red Sox. Top seven, Daniel Bard in. Two on and two out for the White Sox. Comebacker from Quentin. He knocks it down. Bard throws to first, but it gets away. Juan Pierre and Alex Rios both score. And it was 3-2 in favor of Chicago. Mark Burley in the seventh with one on and two out facing Victor Martinez. He gives up a two-run homer. It was 4-3 Boston. Burley went seven, allowed four runs on ten hits. Red Sox added a run in the eighth, and it went to the ninth, leading by two. One on and two out for Jonathan Papelbon, and Carlos Quentin with the looper into center. It falls through. The double scores Alex Rios, and the Red Sox lead was cut to one. Chicago still down to its final out. Next batter, Ramon Castro. That ball hit in the right center field. That's going to fall for a base hit and get by him. So here comes Louis Bridges. Game is tied at five. Yes! Ramon Castro comes through with a big hit. And after walking Alexei Ramirez, Papelbon was lifted for Dustin Richardson. Richardson then walked Mark Tian. He was replaced by Robert Manuel facing Gordon Beckham with the bases loaded in two outs in a tie game. And that's ball four. Sox lead it. 6-5. Yes! Papelbon can barely look. Chicago on the road down to its final out. Wins it in Boston 7-5. They've now won six straight. Matt Thornton comes in, pitches a scoreless ninth with two strikeouts. Alex Rios with three stolen bases, ties a career high for the season with 32.